Welcome to our channel. In this video, we'll learn how to set up hotspot on a Microtech router that connects with an external captive portal and uses Radius for user authentication and authorization. The code for our captive portal is available in this repository. The first thing we'll do is we'll download the files called login.html and alogin.html. We are going to save those to our desktop as we'll be needing those later. Next, we'll open login.html and we'll edit line number four to add the address of our captive portal server here. Then we'll save and close the file. We'll open the Microtech router and go to IP hotspot. Here we're going to click hotspot setup. We'll select the correct interface and press next a few times to complete the setup. Then we'll go to server profiles and select the HSProf1 profile. Here in login, we are going to deselect HTTP chap and cookie and we'll select the HTTP PAP option. In radius tab, we'll check the use radius option. Then we are going to go to user profile and here we are going to disable the Mac cookie option. In shared users, we can increase the number of shared users if we want the same user to be able to connect simultaneously from multiple devices. After that, we are going to go to radius and we'll add a new radius server. We'll enter the address of the radius server and its secret. And in service type, we are going to select hotspot. Next, we'll go to wall garden IP list and in destination address, we are going to enter the address of our captive portal server. Then we are going to go to files and we'll replace the original login.html file with the file that we have on our desktop. Similarly, we are going to go to a login.html and we'll remove the original file and replace it with the one that we have on our desktop. Now the hotspot setup is complete. Let's have a look at our radius setup. We are using free radius with a MySQL database. In the radius database, there's a table called radcheck which contains user credentials. We have two users here. The first one is test1 uh, and its username is test1 and its password is also test1. The second user has username test2 and password test2. In the rad reply table, we have configured the attributes for these users. The user with username test1 has a rate limit of 1 Mbps upload and download configured. And similarly, the user test2 has a rate limit of 2 Mbps, both upload and download. Similarly, we can configure other attributes to configure features like session timeout and to assign a static IP to the user. To use the rate limit feature on Microtik, we have to disable a feature called fast track, which is enabled by default. For that, we'll go to IP firewall and we'll select the default rule for fast track and we are going to disable that. After disabling it, we need to restart the router once for the changes to take effect. So we'll go to system and we'll reboot the router. Now we are going to connect the user to the Microtex Wi-Fi network and we are going to open the captive portal and enter the credentials of the first user with username test1 and password test1. We'll confirm that the username and password is entered correctly. We'll connect to the captive portal and we can see that the user is authorized on the network. Now, we are going to do a speed test to make sure that the rate limit has been implemented correctly. As you can see, the user has a rate limit of approximately 1 Mbps. Now, we are going to remove this user from the hotspot and we are going to connect again using the other user. After we are connected, the captive portal again pops up. We are going to enter the credentials of the second user with username test2 and password test2. After completing the connection, we'll do a speed test once again. This time, you will see that the user has a rate limit of 2 Mbps. And we can also go to the queues option in Microtik and we can see the rule which has been dynamically added using Radius. You can see that this user with username test2 has a rate limit of 2 Mbps upload and 2 Mbps download applied to it. So that's it for today. We hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks and have a nice day.